Dungeon Quest is officially part of the Ready Player 2 event and today I am showing you exactly how to complete the quest here inside of Roblox for the one, the only, the amazing chaotic top hat. So let's jump straight into the video for today. There are going to be a ton of steps for this so I hope you guys are following along for this so just so you know we are doing a tutorial video today on how to get the chaotic top hat and obviously we're going to have to go along with the video for today. So we are going to start off by starting in the amazing spawn and you're going to have to go and collect seven hidden gems in the lobby and I'm going to get you guys to follow me along and you have to collect them in this exact order for this to work. So the first one we are going to get is the red gem and this is going to be behind a tree way past past the spawn point, past the training dummies, basically at the very, very end of the path here. I do have my pulse waves equipped just to make this a little bit faster for you. Obviously, you can walk backwards, you can walk forwards, you can walk in any way to try and find it, but it is going to be behind this tree over here at the very end of the path. And you don't collect the gems, they will not be inside of your inventory, you're just going to have to walk over them in this. I kind of wish there was a visual indicator to know when you have collected this gem or a way to know which gem you're walking over. I did suggest to Vinny to actually make it colorblind friendly, so I did actually say that you had stepped over the red one, the blue one, etc, 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 just to make it a bit easier for people that are colorblind, and I'm not sure if he is playing that in the game or not, but we are going to walk over here to the giant brick wall behind the spawn. So this is on the left hand side when you are looking at the spawn and you're going to see a giant wall and obviously in the join of the wall there is going to be a little crack and this is where you're going to find the yellow gem. So it's just going to be sitting there and all you have to do is walk over it once again. I walked over it quite a few times just for a few little measures and the next one is actually going to be the blue gem and it's actually very very close by. So we're going to come up on the hill here and just follow the edge of the thing and you're gonna see a blue gem behind one of the trees it's very simple very easy if you look at where you are in regarding to spawn you're like behind the wizard's tower area so just go back there and find it through there the next one is actually going to be the cyan one which is an underwater one so you're going to want to probably go into first person in the water for this just to make it a bit easier on you but we're going to go all the way back around the spawn and show you exactly from the spawn location where you can find this it's easier just to direct almost everything from the spawn point it just makes it a lot easier when doing tutorials because obviously they are in a lot of different directions here so we're going to continue up this path right here and head all the way over to the bridge that we walked over just before. For new players, this is a bridge and there's un an underwater cave right under. So we're going to hop in the water and go into first person. So just past the bridge on your left hand side, there's going to be a little tunnel to go down. And in here is the cyan um, gem. Obviously, we swam over it a little bit for little measures. And we're going to hop back out of the water and go find the no, the white one. Oh my goodness, I was about to say purple. No, we have to find the white one next, which is right next to the training dummy. So obviously, when you are looking at this area, you could go up two different sides. It is not on the right-hand side. It is going to be on the left-hand side. Do not, do not worry. People got really confused with this. It's not on the right-hand side. It's on the left. So it's where the um, intermediate dummies are with the red ones. So you're going to go up this little side area here. And just behind this tree, you'll be able to see it sticking out from behind is the white gem. I did have to go into shift lock to kind of make sure that I did walk over this one. Some people didn't really walk over this one, but we're going to head over to the purple gem, which is the second last gem, which is going to be over by the door. This door is obviously very important to Dungeon Quest because it still has not opened. Hopefully with the Excalibur Quest, it does open very, very soon. And we do a ton of Dungeon Quest videos here as well, so make sure to go and check them all out. So just next to this big massive door overlooking the ocean we're gonna have a little purple gem just tucked away in the corner on the other side of this little rock formation and it's gonna be right here and then we're gonna walk over this one and then head over to the secret cave if you don't know where the secret cave is it's literally behind spawn where all of the gems look like they are being mined from which is absolutely amazing and I will say you are gonna need to know how to parkour or quote-unquote obby for this and I will say for mobile users this has been fix we did push a pax for mo a pax oh my goodness a patch for mobile users earlier today that you are able to collect this gem now because um we get that the inventory cosmetics play button we're all covering the jump button on mobile but now there is a high gui option in the menus obviously for mobile so you're able to actually 
open it and you're able to do the parkour properly. And I will say I am absolutely terrible at parkour, so we're gonna skip to when I actually do it. You can do this in shift lock mode, in first person mode, in third person mode, any mode that you really want. I find combining some of them is a lot easier sometimes. Also using some of your spells if you have them with speed spells can be a lot more helpful as well. But I'm just terrible at parkour, okay? We know that I'm terrible, we have learned this over the last few times, especially when doing the Excalibur quest, and we actually had to complete this entire parkour, but this one, you don't have to complete it. This part here is very tricky for a lot of people. Everyone says to go to the left-hand side, I do not recommend going to the left-hand side. It's a lot more difficult if you're going on the left-hand side, I recommend going on the right-hand side. It gives you a bit more room to like jump across properly, obviously. That's my personal recommendation, and obviously Vinny's as well, because it's just a lot easier to go through on the right-hand side. I also recommend first-person mode for this, because you can see where you are jumping, and I recommend facing the back wall when jumping, because then you don't have to, like, worry about jumping off, where you can obviously just jump towards the wall. Obviously, it's just personal preference how you do obbies but this is my take on it and once you get to this little railroad track obviously you're going to want to cross this railroad and jump across it you must and over here on the back wall there is a little hidden door you're just going to walk through that and the green gem is going to be through here i will say possibly one of the most easiest gems to get was the ones in the lobby but this one i get is a bit harder and a lot of people don't actually like this method um i don't mind it because see that yellow gem up there that's what you have to get for the excalibur quest just saying um the next is we are going to want to head off to the side of spawn there are going to be obviously two big walls we did actually collect a gem from under one before we're gonna go to the opposite side wall and we're gonna need these walls because they're gonna be very very helpful you have to get to a secret spot in the lobby where you are actually going to need to find lanterns so obviously you see, we're going to be going to this middle one here because you can actually climb on top of it with a tree that is leaning against it. And we are going to have five lanterns which are going to light up in our numbers. I do have my number already. I will 100% say that. And obviously it's going to flash five to six, no, six times. It's going to flash six times. So as you can see where they are, I'm going to say if you can zoom out all of the way, you're going to be able to see them. So obviously we have one, two, three, four, five, and it's just going to be a lot easier for you to do this. So we actually experienced a little bit of a bug. So this is number one. Number two is by the blue roofs. Number three is obviously at the wizard's tower. Number four is on our version. And number five is up on the le le ledge over there. I did experience a bug and I actually had to reload the entire game and it actually let me continue from where I left off. I'm not entirely sure if it will let you guys, but my number personally was two, four, four, two, four, five. And there's a massive pause obviously to reset the number. So as you guys will see, we have two, four, four, two, four and five so obviously that is my number you guys can play the sequence as many times as you want to write it down do not worry you will stick with the number and then we're gonna head over to that iron gate the iron gate oh my goodness i love the iron gate here in the lobby mainly just due to the fact of i've had so many memories of pretending that i'm in jail with my friends but we're gonna head all the way back over here and go past the cellar guy so obviously in the little like cave section you see where the bridge is you're gonna turn right there's a little thing and there's gonna be a padlock on the door you're going to just go over there and type in your number not type but tap on the numbers on the keypad to enter it so i am going to enter my number two four four two four five and then we're gonna click the enter button this is gonna take us to a secret dungeon this dungeon is actually really cool. I'd love to see this actually be more thing, like more broadened, right? You guys get what I mean, more expanded upon. So this is our outfit, this is our weapon. We do have two spells. We have two basically mage spells. I will say these are amazing to use. And I recommend do not use melee against this boss. Use your range. You will need to use your range. I recommend shift lock for this if you guys can use it. It's a lot easier to keep your character, but it looks like we are in a corrupted server room. So we're going to actually have to destroy this first barrier, which is going to be with 270 health. You can obviously use your abilities. You can use your melee. But as I said, for the boss, I recommend using your range. Do not use your melee. You only get three lives. In this obby, if you fall and die, you do not lose any lives. Do not worry. You will not lose them. And you can complete this obby no matter what. It's just a little pathway thing to get to the boss. And um, 
actually surprised that I completed this obby first time around. I thought I was gonna die a ton because I died a few times in the last obby that we did. Okay, it was a terrible experience, but here we are almost completing it. The last one jump to go and then we're gonna destroy this barrel with another 270 health you guys can see obviously what the damage does with different things so you can test it out for which one you guys want to use on the boss the most but this boss i actually really enjoyed this boss i loved the room that he was in he is called the glitch he does only have 1000 health and this is very new to beginners obviously we have some servers and these servers on the ground are going to be very helpful you're going to need to hide behind them at some point but as you can see we have a ton of range in these and obviously there's going to be different types of rng i'm not the best at dodging but i wasn't really trying i will say i did have three lives to mess around with this and i just kind of wanted to test the boss's rng as well a lot of people have said it is very broken so when this attack happens you're gonna need to hide behind that server because you won't take damage and obviously if you just kind of want to keep going for him and then just not get hit or get hit whichever one is your favorite to get hit in the game but He's a lot easier to kill. Obviously, I'm being more cautious and on the safe side, I would recommend being more cautious. As you see, I have eight minutes to go, so it doesn't really bother me. And I, I, I mean, I lost a little bit of health, but not much when I got that attack. So it's not the most important thing. I have already defeated half of the boss's health, but um, RNG can be very random sometimes and stack upon you very much so. And I will say, I did end up actually dying in this because you see these energy sources, you are going to have to destroy them to actually attack the boss. So don't just keep attacking the boss. If these appear, please get rid of them as soon as possible. These are going to regenerate the boss's health and you're going to be here for a lot longer than you really, really want to. So it's one on either side and it's, it's actually not that much health. I, I kind of like have seen this in Underworld, obviously. So they have 300 health each, that's 600 health. So I mean, it's three quarters of the way to 1000 damage and I get that you have to do this multiple times sometimes but what do you do it's a boss fight you just kind of you just kind of got to do it so obviously I so said we got two different spells range is your best friend and I I don't like that um it doesn't like tick before it does the damage usually you have time but usually we have speed spells because we're that far into the game but that's just us as like late game players and obviously hoping that we get an update very very soon on that i do have some leaks for you guys for the new dungeon tomorrow so make sure if you guys aren't subscribed consider subscribing we do post videos i have been a bit slack on videos because i do have a full-time job now it's a lot more thing I, i'll explain in my video tomorrow as to what exactly is happening in my life with like a life update right before i head off because i am flying to another state to move houses very soon so yeah, just a little update on that. We'll do that tomorrow. But we have 90 health left on this boss, but we have only 17 health. I kind of wish they gave us a healing spell. Better for new players to have a healing spell or something that does heal them in the game. But um, completely understand why there is not one. We do have to go and take out these towers again while he quickly regenerates his health, which is so annoying when he is so close to death. But that is what a boss rng does for you on this game so what do you guys think of dungeon quest if you guys are brand new to the game and if you are following along with this tutorial do you guys think you will play dungeon quest i know we are getting a brand new update very very soon with a brand new dungeon and i cannot wait to show you guys exactly what has been happening and why i haven't been able to talk about it which is really sad because i really wanted to talk about it, but i really really couldn't so let's defeat glitch very very quickly and then move on because he is the final step to obviously obtaining the um, top hat for this event. I love this room. It goes blue after you have defeated the virus, basically, which is absolutely amazing. You can see that I get the badge. And obviously, I love this map. Something that I wish I could do again and again and again. But I wish there was a secret cosmetic that you could have gotten from this. But maybe in the future, Vinny will add in one of those. So that is how you complete today's tutorial on how to complete the Ready Player 2 event here in Dungeon Quest. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. Also, make sure to leave a, a bell, leave a comment. Oh my god, comment. Yes, comment your favorite thing about Dungeon Quest. But yeah, hope you guys have a lovely day or night because we'll be here on now. See you guys in the next video or stream. Bye, guys.